Hey everyone, it's George Crows with another episode of Mindset Mondays. I just love that sound. So uh, thanks for being here and in the week one Mindset Monday. What I talked about is really that compelling reason. Like what's that big reason that we want to do things? It's not just like, hey, I want to lose weight, right? It's, you know, maybe... Hey, like I want to be, you know, be around for my kids. I want to, you know, be able to really enjoy that time. And, you know, eventually, you know, then, then it kind of gets to that weight, but really kind of, what is that big purpose? And so that's what I talked about last week. This week, what I'm going to talk about is this idea of kind of setting goals and what are some of the goals that we have? And, you know, they, they should be measurable. They should be things that you can actually see over time, kind of thinking about that process, but also how do we actually separate those goals into like, um, big, medium, and small goals uh, to get to that big goal. And I think of the story uh, from Will Smith. I remember listening to this interview on in Will Smith, and you can uh, see it in the, in the link in the description. And he talks about uh, his dad getting him to, to build a brick wall. And he was talking about that process, and I'm going to just totally wreck this story. And he tells it, obviously, so much better. But he talked about that process of basically every single day going and actually laying that brick one by one and just being so meticulously uh, doing well to kind of have that goal of setting those bricks perfectly each each and every day. And when you do that over and over and over again, eventually what his dad said is you have a wall, you build that wall. And so I think a lot of times what we see is that gigantic big goal that we want to reach, but we don't think about the little things along the way that have to build. And I think about this like really simple thing that I do uh, when I'm running. Uh, I'm not a big fan of running up hills, but that's a reality of when you run outside, there's always going to be hills at, at, at some place. And what's interesting is that going uh, up a hill is really hard, but going down a hill, uh, you know, doesn't seem to really be that great when you're running either. But when you're running up a hill, what I look at sometimes is that when I look at the top of the hill, I become really overwhelmed by how far away that actually seems. So what I actually do is I look five steps in front of me. And when I look five steps in front of me, I'm like, okay, just get to those five steps. And then you get to those five steps. And then you look five steps. You just keep going and going. And then eventually what happens is you're at the top of that hill. So it really matters to kind of set those small goals, um, you know, along the way to, to the bigger goals that you have. And so I did want to lose weight. And I talked about the compelling reason I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to make sure I was going to be around for as long as possible, you know, for my own kids and really kind of setting that goal of weight. So I actually set like a tangible goal of how I would, you know, uh, of how much weight I actually wanted to lose. And there's a podcast I did when I actually hit that first goal of losing that first big goal of losing 80 pounds. But what I did actually uh, setting those setting smaller goals is that, you know, basically every single week I wanted to um, actually lose two pounds and little goals into that. So I would say that that losing two pounds was kind of like a medium goal, right? So it was a week long process, but smaller goals that I set were, were things that I could do and measure every single day. So for example, I would say, okay, I want to make sure that I, I walk at least 10,000 steps this week, right? And then as I get that, hey, add 100 steps, add 100 steps, right? To continuously kind of build that and do that. I was very thoughtful of my eating, right? And I wasn't meticulous about it with calorie counting and things like that, but I would, you know, focus on like, hey, make sure you get enough protein, things like that. So I'd set those small, like kind of daily goals to get to those week goals. And then eventually I got to that big goal. And once I hit that big goal, then I reevaluated and actually set another goal. And then, you know, have a bigger goal, still focus on those small, medium, and, and then large goals. But again, if you only look to the large goal, it's going to seem, insur you know, insurmountable sometimes. You got to kind of set goals as you go through this process. So that's really on a personal level for my health that I was focusing on. So on a professional level, I've had this conversation several times with people talking about they want to write a book. And then I ask them, like, point to me to some of the writing that you've done. And they can't really point to it. And they just basically want to all of a sudden just out of nowhere write a book. 
And I think if you want to be a really great writer, that means you have to consistently write. So what I encourage people to do is to write, you know, not necessarily daily, but, you know, have a blog post every single week. So one of the goals I have for my own writing is that I have a blog post that goes out every Tuesday afternoon and I have a blog, uh, an email that I write to people that goes out every Saturday. Now, how I get to that point is different, right? So it's not that I write every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's that I have to have that post that goes out Tuesday. So some, some days, you know, some weeks I'll write two blog posts and I'll have, you know, ahead of time, but I make sure that I get that writing in. I get to that point. And I think that when I write for an audience, it creates an accountability that, you know, maybe people aren't, but I feel maybe they're expecting that blog post to hit their email Wednesday morning. They're expecting that Saturday email. I remember one time I screwed up on the scheduling of an email and it didn't go out till like eight o'clock and it usually goes out seven o'clock my time. And people were emailing me, hey, are you okay? So I knew people were actually expecting this. So I created that accountability. And because of that consistency that I do of writing, it's a lot easier when I decide, hey, it's time to write a book because I've been having those small goals through that process. So let's say you want to write a book. Let's say you want to go through that um, and you want to want to do that element. We want to do those elements. What's the small things that you're doing, you know, maybe daily, you know, maybe medium things that you're doing weekly to ensure that you get to that big goal. Right. It's also the same thing about how you look at in education. If you want to go into administration, well, are you just going to show up one day and say like, hey, I'm ready to be a principal. And one thing I learned, and I referenced this because of a teacher, that are you actually consistently being a person worth following? Not just are you ready to lead? Are you a person that's worth following and kind of thinking about that? So what I want you to think about today is whether it's personal, whether it's professional, what's that big goal that you want to achieve? What does that look and how, how can you actually measure it? And then think about how can you break those goals down into smaller chunks? How can you get it into like smaller pieces as you're going? So thanks for being here for another Mindset Monday. For anyone who's listening to this on the podcast, you're still more than welcome to join the Facebook group. We are doing a book study as well and love the conversations, love the community, supporting one another. We would love to have you. Thanks. And I hope this has helped you start your week off right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do. Take care.